of civil engineering, you will learn how to apply the knowledge of maths and science to design and to construct structures such as tall buildings and bridges to make sure structures are able to support loads safely. Graduates of School of Civil Engineering are employed in engineering consultancy firms in various government agencies and departments, also as engineers and advisors to various engineering projects. Environmental engineering is one of the key elements of civil engineering. It concerns with protecting people from adverse environmental effects such as pollution, at the same time improving environmental quality. Civil engineer is also responsible for managing solid waste or garbage that we produce every day. We manage the whole system from source, collection, transportation, processing, and recycling, and disposal. The water that we take, the wastewater that we discharge are within the responsibility of environmental engineer. Water resource engineering is in the field that is primarily responsible for water and tackles the planning, development and management of water resources, essential for, the, for our economic purposes, the survival of human beings and the, and, the, and the planning of water resources for the future. When you come to civil engineering, you will learn several topics related to water resource engineering. For example, you will learn about fluid mechanics. Fluid mechanics takes, looks into the theory of, of fluids, of water flowing in, uh, in fluids, and then we will learn, we will go into hydraulics where you look into the study of channels, pipe flow and so on. And then we go to hydrology where you look into the study of the rainfall, stream flows, river flows and so on. Geotechnical engineering is important in civil engineering, not only in construction but also applications in military, mining, petroleum and other engineering disciplines concerning with construction occurring on the surface or within the ground. For example, site investigations are needed to gain an understanding of the area in or on which the engineering structure will take place. A geotechnical engineer then determines and designs the type of foundations, earthworks and of pavement subgrades required for the intended man-made structures to be built. The course content of geometrics in the School of Civil Engineering covers the whole aspects of geometrics technology and application. This will include the analysis of ground-based measurement such as leveling, theodolite traversing, automated surveying and setting out. The fundamentals of geoinformation science and image processing is also introduced with the emphasis on the component, functions, analysis and spatial modeling. And the principle of satellite positioning, such as GPS, with special attention to the instrumentation and measurement techniques, is also offered. In our daily life, when you are traveling on roads or highways, we can see pavement, we can see the safety features the signboard and road markings, or even the activities involving construction and road maintenance. Behind those activities and elements, there are people, which is the highway engineers, and great agencies like public work department, highway authorities, and private companies that work hard on every details for the road selection, geometric design, pavement structure and mixed design, as well as the road, and highway management, its involved operation and maintenance. If you want to know more and be part of this great community, come and join us at the School of Civil Engineering, University of Science Malaysia. Although we spent only two weeks in Japan, all the experiences were worthwhile. We are so glad to get to see other parts of the world as well as discovering Japan's culture. Learning how to see things differently and being able to solve problems with an entirely new perspective are some of the numerous things that we had to gain. We will never learn such things if we do not go out and take risks. 
two weeks in Japan are far more than just a memory. We realize how lucky we are being able to learn many things through this program. So firstly, I think that uh, the school can provide more serial-based uh, community projects for the involvement of students. Uh, next, I also think that uh, the school can uh, provide the DIM building information modeling software uh, to aid the student uh, to be more competitive for future industry. The School of Civil Engineering has dedicated lecturers that always convey their knowledge with a passionate manner. Uh, School of Civil Engineering is keen to help the student explore the field of engineering through various competitions. School of Civil Engineering is one of the best in the country. Not only that, School of Civil Engineering offers an awesome program packed with full of classroom-based activities, field trip, industrial work experience, and even overseas exchange program. Not only that, I should also mention the lecturers and researchers who are very helpful and supportive. 